Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I have a desktop and I call it Mundus. I have a laptop and I call it Ethereus. And I also have a server and I call it Oblivion. And the reason I have a server is because I run my website on it. I run my email server on it. And I also run a Git server because I hate GitHub. And I also run a Mumble client to talk with my friends, a IRC bouncer. And I also store my files there. Even I store my password by encrypting it and then you know uploading it to the server there are tons of things just for sharing files i use my server because i don't want to rely on all these services which are out there because it's not fun to use them there is no control and since i like computers so i want to you know do all these kind of things and i also learn a lot of things about linux and technology itself in general by doing all these kind of stuff so i'll encourage you to do it even if you're not um, too much into tech because you're going to have fun uh, so let's get started with it so from this video i'm going to make a series about self-hosting and i'm also going to show you like how to set up a website along with some technical details like how a web server work and things like this so let's try you know okay i don't know let's start the journey up so the first step which we have to do is we have to buy some domain and also some cloud storage of, so not storage actually the computer the server basically okay we have to rent a server i'm going to use vulture you can use some other services there are plenty of good services out there i'm not endorsing vulture but this is what i used because for some reason so it's good let's get start so there are plenty of uh, different different kinds of servers to rent so you can have a gpu cloud so you can get a gpu power but it's so costly so i you don't need gpu everything which you are going to do is going to just falls into this cloud compute uh, you can also get some optimized cloud compute let's just ignore it it's bare metal server is basically an entire server just for you uh, this cloud compute is basically you are going to get some shared space for yourself shared cpu so this is pretty fun uh, the boring part is just you know renting doing all these ui things but one once we create an ssh access we are going to have a lot of fun so as you can see we got plenty of cpu choices too i'm going to use intel regular performance because this is shitty and it cost low i don't know why it's uh, showing a lot let's create it uh create a server in mumbai all right why it's saying 12 it should be six uh okay this is why so there are plenty of services service sizes there and we are going to use the five dollar per month so this is the cheapest thing which you can get from vulture and you might don't have this amount of money so you can you know set up a raspberry pi or not do it do it later or something or do it in your computer for no reason i mean you won't get any public ip anyway so what operating system to install there are lots of good choices uh, minus two so here i in my server i use freebsd but most people should go with debian don't try installing arch it's not stable everything is up to date so things break and i don't know what is this rocky linux i have never heard of it uh, lots of new new distro is coming out and i'm not trying out all right so choose the location which is near to you because it is going to give you better latency better speed when you ssh uh, the words will get typed quickly and debian is the thing to go minimum server size auto backup is going to take one dollar per month we have to save every, each and every penny so all right close it now this is free enable virtual cloud private virtual private cloud so let's just stick on this and do you want to add some ssh keys well i'm going to explain you what ssh keys later so let's just ignore it enter host name so uh you know sudo no why am i okay i i haven't think of any username so i'm going to just type all right Bucks toot. Okay, Bucks toot. All right, Bucks. Oh, why I think? Okay, I cannot type anything random. Okay, Bucks uh, uh, tutorial, Bucks, um, Bucks teaching. Okay, teach, Bucks teach. Okay, that, that's it, Bucks teach. So uh, this is uh, going to be our host name and also a label which will get showed by uh, this vulture thing. So let's click on deploy now. Uh, this is this was pretty simple because I didn't create any account and I didn't add any money or something. But um, this is required. I mean the money is there but you cannot see it. But when you create an account in vulture you have to add some money in there. And only after that you will be able to do this. Okay so keep some $10 or something in your server or just 
five dollar will work uh otherwise things won't work maybe i don't know <laughs> i never tried so there are plenty of options here like as you can see you can get some referral code or something just ignore all of this so your operating system debian is getting installed in the meantime uh let me show you this thing so this is the domain which i'm going to use um uh, so i have a friend named ritika so i made a website for her uh but eventually uh, i stopped making it like i thought i'll buy a domain for her that's it so i uh, what i'm going to use is this domain is uh, what i'm going to use to show you guys that um, this demonstration whatever i'm doing so here our server is created now let's just copy this ip address and go to this name cheap account where i bought this money xyz and let's add some you know go to advanced dns and add some records so a record and uh, host at the rate just just write it down right now okay don't think about it ttl one minute so what happened right now is our server is created and if i copy this ip and open a terminal and if i ping this ip uh, we are reaching our server the server is live and as you can see it's only taking 38.1 ms now what i want is instead of uh, adding ip all the time i want to type the domain name moneyrithika.xyz okay so let's get back and let me just copy this ip okay it's it's already done like i add did this not this actually and this record needs to get deleted okay okay this record is what i'm talking about okay so i added this ip address i added this host name and uh, this ttl is basically the time of update so that's it like let's add another record it's uh, another e record and this time i want to type asterisk here so what i'm doing here by typing asterisk is all right this is going up i'm, I'm really making a bad tutorial so what asterisk means asterisk means basically you you see all these kind of domain like get.bugswriter.com or api.bugswriter.com or blah blah foobar dot bugswriter.com so basically this uh, asterisk is for any subdomain okay and at the rate for you know default subdomain which is nothing uh, so this is a record is for ipv4 record so i'm adding the ipv4 address but i also want to record for ipv6 so let me click here and uh, let me copy go to settings and then copy the ipv6 address this is the ipv6 address and add new record art 4a record so 4a is for ipv6 add it and add another record and this time asterisk so so sometimes some services use ipv6 so that's why i'm adding it all right let's just click on tick 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 okay so all the records I added, this is done. Basically now what will happen is moneyrithika.xyz is pointing to the server which we created, okay? So it was so simple. I mean, I skipped few parts where I'm buying, like creating accounts for Namecheap, creating accounts for Vulture and adding money and stuff, doing payments. But I think you can figure it out. We are living in a Amazon world, you know, everything is, people are buying everything online, so you can do it. So let me now see whether the Namecheap is working. Uh, the, the links are pointed to the right server, okay? So let me, pip, uh, you know, ping to moneyrithika.xyz and I think one minute is done so it should okay as you can see look at this ipv6 and let's match it uh this number like a377 like this entire thing with the um, ipv6 of our this thing like vulture so yeah it's uh, it's uh it's it's pointing to the right server okay so now we don't have to memorize the ip address we can just type you know money dot xyz all right so ssh money xyz and let's just ssh now when you first time do ssh it will ask for or something just say yes okay so then you have to enter password so let's just copy this password from here and let's just paste it here enter so i pasted the password pressed enter and it says permission denied what the fuck let me copy again let me paste again okay that must be some glitch or something okay it's oh you have to give the user so it's it it have to be root at the rate money xyz so press enter voila we are entered okay so yeah that's the first video where i showed you how to create a basically this is our server now in the next video i'm going to teach you something about ssh like how to create an ssh access for yourself so yeah keep watching